In the Gaza Strip, the heroin and persistent attack by Zionist forces leaves in its wake brutal massacres. One surpasses the other with sheer atrocity. The recent horror unfolded in the city of Jabalia, where hundreds were martyred, a devastating toll predominantly compromised of innocent women and children. From Sunday to Monday, the occupiers' aircrafts mercilessly struck the homes of Palestinian civilians in Jabalia al Balad. The aftermath was a chilling mosaic of destruction, where the missiles tore bodies into scattered pieces and reduced entire buildings to rubble. This is morning in Jabalia, after the occupation committed a massacre last night against Al Borj and Alwan families. They directly targeted homes, including the one of the Suleiman family. The old Gaza massacre, a frightening chapter, saw the tragic killing of more than 50 children from Al Burj, Al Wan, and Suleiman families. Their young lives were cut short and their remains left entangled under the debris. These martyrs are Al Burj family and Suleiman family in the massacre in Jabali Al Barid. These two children are twins and this little girl too. Simultaneously, the new Jabalia massacre unfolded amidst a barbaric Zionist bombing campaign targeting residential complexes around the city. The aftermath was a torrent of serious injuries among civilians, with many unable to reach hospitals. The occupation forces heartlessly prevented ambulances from reaching the wounded. Whatever type of injuries we receive, we'll work here as best we can. We have one radiology device that we use for imaging and also have laboratory. Today, through primitive methods, we were able to transfer some units of blood to the seriously wounded people. These genocidal acts, perpetrated by the Zionist entity, unveil a desperate attempt to achieve military goals in the face of resolute resistance, thwarting them on the ground. Unfortunately, civilians are caught in the crossfires and their lives hanging in the balance, struggling for survival.